Hey, everybody on the Pro Forum. One of the things people ask me about um, whenever I do seminars and things like that is my underwater photography. And they want to know, well, is it some kind of special pool? Is it come, some kind of special deal? Well, I'm going to show you my pool. This is my pool in my backyard. Let me spin this thing around. And as you can tell, my pool is um, it's just a little, you know, kidney-shaped pool. I'm going to come around from a couple of different angles. And uh, what I will do in this pool, on the deep end, which is uh, the left side, the deep end is, is six foot, six and a half maybe if the water's up. And if you notice this little area right here, there's a little, uh, there is a, uh, a, a little shelf. And, and that's kind of convenient because I can have people sit on that shelf and be half in the water, half not out the water. And on the shallow end, it's what, two and a half, three feet. And that's it, it kind of, that's it. That's all I really use as far as doing the um, underwater photography, and that's where I do it. Um, you don't need a whole lot of swimming pool to do the underwater thing, and I've made comments about it before, several times, and made several uh, posts about the thing, is that it's the stuff you do above the water that people are actually buying. The stuff under the water is, is just all about experience. The stuff above the water is the cool things, like the one where the girl's floating, it's just her eyes sticking up out the water, that kind of thing. Um, edge of the pool, on the little shelf, you know, sitting on the little, these little areas right here, you see this little, this well, let me get a, around the, that thing, these, these little chase lounges, you know, this kind of stuff. All of this is, is around the pool, and I always make sure I do several things that way, around the pool, so as to create an entire experience for everyone. So I figured I would just kind of give you a little insight, just get a little, little visual into how I do it. And uh, one of those, one of the images I did last year that a lot of people thought was really, really, really cool, there was a girl, she was laying on the ground and she had a lot of these lines going through her face. Well, those lines come from this area. See how those lines are showing up now? And I'll show you, I'll spin it around. It's this little slats on top of, just it's just like a little area where we, it sort of sticks out. And uh, that's how it was done. The, the sun came out, we did a shot where the these little slat lines, these little things were showing. Then a big cloud came across and we did two, one click, click. So again, it's just, it's just looking for and making sure you're always prepared for the things that are all around you and making sure that you, you, uh, you're able to do and take advantage of the world that you're in. So that is, there you go, right there in the background. That's it. That's my whole pool. It's not a lot of a pool. And that's how I do it. Hope that helps somebody out when it comes to doing crazy, wicked cool stuff for high school seniors. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.